What's up, this is Jake with Hike 734, doing the Mirror Lake Loop with a side trail up, up, up the switchbacks of Snow Creek in Yosemite National Park. So I did the loop counterclockwise because the light worked better where it shone on North Dome during the morning and in the afternoon was show, shining on Half Dome so better pictures and uh, also up that little switchback goodness all the way up Snow Creek. So anyways, I, the trail starts over by Tanaya Creek Bridge and um, what's really cool is it just kind of works right along Tanaya Creek and this is just a crazy snow year so the creek is huge. It's definitely more river and um, the trail just nice level trail for the most part going through the trees really popular because it's nice and level and um, you know just walking through there looking at the creek and the trees and got to see some birds and um, just as you get further along just looking up at North Dome and uh, just these crazy granite cliffs are just so amazing here in Yosemite and you get to see the creek coming out of the lower pool of Mirror Lake and it's just roaring out of here but it's just really cool to see the transition and uh, and then it leaves Tanaya Creek for quite some time and during this time you definitely get some really sweet views of um, the North Dome and then Basket Dome and, and just that whole ridge line which is beautiful. And you spend some time right at the base of the big walls just at the bottom of Half Dome and there's a really cool white boulder field. I guess that had closed the trail some years back and um, so you just get to walk through these big white boulders and, uh, and then you continue on. And you also gain a little bit of elevation here as it kind of climbs up but it just kind of, you know, eventually will give you some cool views of the creek and interestingly and um, as, as it dropped down once again because there's so much water I ended up having to wade through just a lot of ice cold water because this is just from snow melt but later on the summer mirror lakes dried out and obviously this trail would be really dried out so anyways continued along and it dropped down as you get to to the head of the valley looking up over at a really cool waterfall kind of gurgling out of uh, snow creek and then dropped down and went across the cool bridge at the head of the loop. So you get a good look of Tanaya Creek as you're standing on the bridge and uh, you cross over the bridge. You get another little look at it and then you basically just walk in the trees for a little bit and then that's where the junction for the trail that goes up Snow Creek is. And so I went ahead and took that and that thing is unforgiving. It just climbs, climbs, climbs. It's really switch backy all the way up and um, and it starts out in the trees and which is nice um, as you're climbing it's nice to be in the shade for a bit um, and then you get little pocket views of Half Dome and of course since it's in the morning still as I started to do this Half Dome was just kind of not lit beautifully but as I got higher up it didn't matter because it was fantastic and <laughs> breaking out of the trees and just having these really epic views of just the mountains they're amazing and um, just climbed higher and higher and the views just continue to get better and better and looking up over um, just higher up the Tanaya Valley and then also uh, looking up towards um, North Dome and Basket Dome you start to get some really good views of, of Basket Dome and uh, saw lots of fun lizards and a really cool snake that was um, black and white banded and the further up you get, obviously, the views continue to improve. And at one point, I realized, hey, that's Glacier Point. And so I zoomed in and I could see people um, standing on Glacier Point. And I felt like I was just in a microcosm. And anyways, just continued to climb on up. And then the trail, um, I was hoping it was going to come over by that waterfall by Snow Creek, but it did not. It ended up um, wrapping around and kind of going up this drainage with this um, stream that I'm sure is very seasonal um, and just kind of followed that up in the trees and which was nice because it was getting really toasty so it was nice to get in the shade um, and it was just up 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 more up more up and then some views of like clouds rest came in th to play so just really really cool that's uh, on the way up you're just basking in views and um, finally the trail ended up leveling off which was super great because um, you were or I was tired and um, while I was in there got to see um, a deer running through the forest as well as just a bunch of um, 
different like woodpeckers and stuff and um, just really cool as you get closer to the top and then once you get in there just the ponderosas are huge and sweet and uh, and then I'd heard that there was a black bear up ahead and sure enough I saw it and got to watch it um, tear apart logs and eat um, I'm guessing ant grub or just ants and so that was really fun I've seen the result of them tearing it up, but I've never actually watched them tear it up. But anyways, continued a little bit further until I came to the bridge that goes over Snow Creek, which was my turnaround point. So from there, I turned around and started working my way down. And then I have the afternoon light on Half Dome and it was fantastic. So of course I had to indulge myself and enjoy it and take a couple more photos and video. And then worked my way down and um, came back down to uh, the Mirror Lake Loop Trail and started working my way down that again and that's definitely just more trees and just really cool big cedars and um, definitely a lot m more wet than the uh, the Snow Creek Trail and just really cool just to kind of see Half Dome so if you only do the Mirror Lake Loop you can go ahead and get to see little bits of Half Dome through this section but not a whole lot it's just a pleasant level walk and then eventually you start to get over to Mirror Lake. And Mirror Lake, the loop actually goes to the right, but I would say stay to the left so you can just enjoy Mirror Lake and then follow it out on the road there. But anyways, yeah, Mirror Lake's really cool. It has a lot of, well, it reflects Half Dome and some of the surrounding peaks, which is really pretty and got a lot of history there. And they have a bunch of uh, interpretive signs there so you can learn more about it and that history. So that's kind of sweet. Um, and then you actually have a couple of pools and a couple of loops. So just wander around through the little peninsulas that jut out and um, see those. And then there's that rapids again that connects the mirror lake and the lower pool. And then comes on over to the lower pool. It's another last view and just the crazy, crazy walls. And then from there, like I said, the road just follows along the creek. And I think that's probably a little bit more interesting than the Mirror Lake loop section that just kind of walks through the forest. And uh, anyway, so that just takes you along the creek as it goes through different uh, cedars and stuff all the way to back to the bridge to go ahead and close up the loop. So anyways, really cool loop. If you're doing this and you wanted to spice it up, I definitely recommend the uh, Snow Creek section. It's super pretty, super pretty, but it is a ton of work. So don't go into it thinking that it's just a little side trail because it'll, it'll kick your butt. So anyways, this is Jake with Hike 734 doing the Mirror Lake Loop with a side trail up Snow Creek in Yosemite National Park. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe on YouTube and head on over to hike734.com for more goodness.